Scientists have recently uncovered the genuine origins of our solar system within the Kuiper Belt. NASA's detection of enigmatic entities there raises the question, are these ancient entities truly the initial pieces of the puzzle needed to elucidate our existence? Delving into these inquiries continuously brings us nearer to grasping the fundamental mechanisms that orchestrated the emergence of planets and the genesis of life. Yet, the enigma persists. What other enigmas lurk within the untapped expanses of the Kuiper Belt? The Kuiper Belt stands as one of the few remaining enclaves within our solar system yet to be fully explored. Even more enigmatic is the Oort Cloud, situated approximately 7.5 trillion to 30 trillion kilometers beyond the heliosphere. Discovered in 1992 by astronomers David J.T. and Jane L., the Kuiper Belt, spanning about 4.5 billion kilometers, heralded a pivotal moment in our comprehension of the entire solar system. Utilizing the 2.24-meter telescope at the Monia Observatory in Hawaii, JT and Lou diligently scoured beyond Neptune's orbit for telltale signs of celestial bodies. Their perseverance bore fruit with the identification of the inaugural Kuiper Belt object, 157601992 QB1. This revelation ushered in a new era in astronomy, affirming the existence of a realm populated by smaller celestial bodies, dubbed Kuiper Belt objects, KBOs. Since their unveiling in the 1990s, scientists have speculated about a diverse array of objects within this belt, relics from the nascent stages of the solar system. Picture it thus, initially, a dense amalgamation of dust and gas likely pervaded, undergoing successive vibrations and accelerations until the central core heated and condensed sufficiently to birth a star, our Sun. Subsequently, gravitational forces caused the residual gases and dust to coalesce, giving rise to planetesimals. These embryonic planets eventually evolved into the celestial bodies we recognize today, while others formed moons or remained as amorphous masses, either hitching rides as irregular satellites or traversing the solar system as asteroids. Materials that failed to coalesce into larger entities congregated in regions such as the Kuiper Belt, the Oort Cloud, or the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. These celestial bodies have remained relatively unchanged for 4.6 billion years, unlike our dynamic Earth. As a result, Kuiper Belt objects, KBOs, and similar entities provide valuable insights into the early solar system's chemical composition and physical conditions. With over 1 trillion objects spanning the 4.5 billion kilometer expanse of the Kuiper Belt, sizes range from minute dust particles to boulders rivaling family homes. This region likely hosts asteroids and potentially comets, although the Oort Cloud is the primary comet reservoir. Additionally, the Kuiper Belt accommodates dwarf planets, including Pluto. Objects likely congregated in the Kuiper Belt shortly after formation due to gravitational forces favoring accumulation. Thankfully, these objects are securely bound within the solar system, mitigating potential threats to Earth. The Kuiper Belt alone hosts 1 trillion objects, with another 1.1 million in the asteroid belt, while speculation surrounds the abundance within the Oort Cloud. The recent discovery of 100 new dwarf planets underscores our limited understanding of their evolution compared to larger planets like Earth and Jupiter. The Kuiper Belt's revelation prompted a re-evaluation of planetary classifications, notably Pluto's demotion following Eris's discovery in 2005. Eris, akin in size to Pluto but more massive, orbits the Sun between 68 and 97 astronomical units over 557 years. Its reflective surface suggests frozen methane presence. McKean Makaki, discovered in 2005, orbits at around 45 Australian dollars and 80 cents and completes its solar journey in approximately 310 years. Ha, named after the Hawaiian goddess of fertility, rotates extraordinarily fast, completing a revolution in just four hours. Situated roughly 43 Australian dollars from the sun, Ha boasts two moons in a unique ring system, distinguishing it within the Kuiper Belt's diverse array of dwarf planets. Other notable minor planets, like Sedna and Quawar, challenge expectations with their unique characteristics, hinting at a complex shared history among these distant objects. The Kuiper Belt's potential for harboring additional objects, possibly numbering in the hundreds, prompted the establishment of the Transneptunian Object or Dwarf Planet classification in 2006. Pluto's exclusion from the real planet's roster stems from its orbit not fully clearing, lacking gravitational dominance. 
objects within the Kuiper Belt often intersect Pluto's orbit, while also sharing their orbit with enigmatic accumulations of water. It's a revelation that within this region, which some might consider merely a remote expanse, lies potential evidence of the origins of life. Water here dates back to the dawn of our solar system, encapsulated within icy bodies that may harbor molecules predating the sun itself. These frozen relics offer insight into the chemical evolution that birthed water and organic compounds in our solar system's infancy. By scrutinizing the composition and distribution of these icy remnants, scientists aim to unlock secrets about the earliest water sources in our cosmic neighborhood, potentially unraveling mysteries affecting Earth's habitable zone and the prospects for life elsewhere in the universe. The arrival of organic substances via asteroids and comets remains a perplexing facet of our planet's history. Comets, composed of dust, ice, and rock, amalgamated during the solar system's formative years when the sun was young and planetary formation was in its infancy. It remains one of the greatest enigmas of existence, the processes conducive to life's emergence and its organic origins. From the Kuiper Belt's earliest known object, 157601992 QB1 or Albion, a planetoid with a diameter of approximately 168 kilometers, to Eric, the variety of celestial bodies traversing this vast region is astounding. Despite millennia of research, the Kuiper Belt continues to yield new discoveries, underscoring the boundless mysteries that await exploration. Reflecting on the enormity of the universe, the Kuiper Belt, with its myriad objects, is but a minuscule thread in the cosmic tapestry. It's a humbling reminder of the grandeur and complexity of the cosmos. Eric, a peculiar binary contact object, challenges conventional wisdom with its flat shape and smooth surface, suggesting novel processes at play in the solar system's infancy. From its initial designation as Ultima Thu to its adoption of the name Eric, meaning is sky in the language of the Patan and Alanine Indians, this celestial oddity continues to intrigue, offering tantalizing clues about the mechanisms driving celestial evolution. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Thanks for watching.